Hey Taurus and welcome to my channel. I'm here doing your monthly love reading for October 2018. I'm just going to tip you on down here so you guys can watch me shuffle as I get started on your reading. This is for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. It will not resonate with everybody, so check out all your signs. All right, your guys' first card um, out is The Hanged Man in Reverse. So um, you guys are coming out of a time of inner um, healing, inner reflection, figuring out um, what all this pain has been all about. Um, you went into the hangman to try to take a step back and see another perspective of, of what, what this life is calling for you, why you're going through the things you're going through. In that time um, of, of taking a step back, you have found healing. You have found growth. Um, and you are ready to come out um, a new, more enlightened um, version of yourself. Your <clears throat> second card is your um, attitude towards wealth. Not necessarily um, in like a monetary value either, which in this case it actually is. So some of you have been um, just diving into work. Um, trying to keep your mind off of what is going on in your personal life, um, doing everything that you can do to, to not have to think about um, what's going on at home or around you. But in that, you are finding a lot of success in your work. Your next card out is the Four of Pentacles. So you've been holding back, restricting your feelings, um, not letting somebody know how you truly feel, um, scared to invest any time or emotions in anybody. Um, it's also a card of like greedy. So be careful of that energy right next to the Eight of Pentacles because it doubles there. So... Your next card out is the Two of Pentacles. So you could be going through a lot of um, inner turmoil, uh, facing a lot of rough, rough situations, and still trying to keep all the the balls up in the air while you're juggling. Um, you are going to find a balance, however, um, after this situation that you're currently going through passes. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius, um, but this person is uh, very cold, distant, not wanting to express any feelings in the situation. Um, they could be saying some harsh words, um, things that you don't want to hear. Uh, yeah, He's, they're just acting very aloof, very... They're acting different than what they usually, how they usually act. Also, um, acting irrational, uh, out of character. This is um, bringing in a lot of sadness. There's, um, could be with it being connected to the hanged man, you could be getting out of a phase of depression um, over what has what you've lost in the past. Um, you're focusing on what went wrong instead of what you gained out of the situation. Yeah, three of pentacles. So, <clears throat> yeah, it is in the reverse. So you could be feeling like uh, you're not getting acknowledged at work in the way that you should. Um, somebody else is taking credit for your work. Some of you are getting out of a third party situation and that's why you are having a lot of sadness. Um, and why you're holding back emotionally from this person. Yeah, the tower. So there was a, uh, emotional shakeup in your life. Something that you didn't see coming just kind of came in and yanked the rug out from underneath you. This is this has already happened, however, though, because it's in the reverse. Um, you kind of seen this coming before it, before it happened anyways. There was problems um, in the past. Neither one of you were expressing your feelings um, of what was going on, and it, it ultimately led to somebody juggling uh, 
somebody outside of the relationship causing it to to come down come crumbling down you could be going through a like a very intense emotional high and low to um one day you're feeling okay about it and the next day it's you are experiencing like a rock bottom feeling yeah the high priestess is also here so there's being see there's secrets that have been um kept between the two of you um causing you just to be emotionally drained not having much left to give um, to the situation, even though you're trying to work on it, but you're having a hard time getting over these secrets that caused you all this, um, this heartache. Your next card out is the two of swords. So you have a decision to make. Um, you have to choose between two people or two things or two situations, whatever. Um, there's a major decision coming up though. For, a, for some of you, Taurus, you are the one with the third party situation. Um, because you didn't have the feelings for this person as you once did. So you were holding out, not, not, um, not investing any time with the person that you were in a committed relationship with and you caused this tower to come down. Yeah. Princess of cups. So, uh, there was a lot of immature feelings, a lot of immature things being said to each other. Um, even though you still care about this person, um, yeah. So, you have a decision, but it's going to take um, facing your fears to make the decision of of what your heart is being is telling you to do. But you're coming out of this illusion that um, it's all just going to go away. You're going to have to deal with with this, even though you're feeling oops, even though you're feeling defeated and um, unsuccessful at the moment. You're going to come out of that. Um, pretty quick because something some when you make a clear decision about something it's your um you're not going to be so confused anymore that fog that haze that you've kind of been living in is going to lift it's going to clear um and you're going to know then what to choose you just have to remember that the situation, you have control over the situation. Right now you're feeling like the situation has control of you. Okay. So the Nine of Cups is here in reverse. And this is the overindulgence of something. Somebody is, um, is either drinking too much, uh, this could be addictions. It's it's causing a rift in this relationship. And that's where the secrets are coming in out of or, you know, are being caused from. Uh, you could be dealing with an Aries with the Emperor or this is in your either moon or rising. But you're going to find stable ground again. You're going to find your feet um, very soon in the time of Aries. Um yeah, in the time of Aries, something big is coming for you. So what is that? Um, April? Yeah. I'm hearing April. And that's also the fourth month. So, yeah, something big. Something big is coming for you. Um, so you have that to look forward to. Also, there is an Aries male who is very dominating. Not in a mean way, but... They just like to have things the way they want it, when they want it. And um, this person's going to help you. Uh, this person's going to help you. It could be in the form of a lawyer. 
um, because this is a relationship that is coming to an end. Um, even though you don't want it to end, uh, or they don't want it, one of you doesn't want it to end, one of you does. But, yeah. Yeah, this relationship with the Tower and the Four of Wands, this relationship was over a while ago. But you are having a hard time accepting the fact that it wasn't going to be able to be rebuilt. It wasn't going, you were under this illusion that um, you could fix this relationship um, if you tried hard enough. But you are ultimately going to find the strength to make the decision to move on. Even though it breaks your heart, um, it's better than being in this third party situation, whether you were the one with two partners or you were one of the um, two. It, either way, you're heartbroken over the ending of this relationship. Oh, I will um, grab or pull you guys a romance angel card. Uh, yeah, just, just have faith that this situation is going to work out because come... Just past the beginning of the new year, you guys are going to have um, somebody come into your life that's really going to, um, really going to have a, a large impact on you. Could be a soulmate, but finances is definitely an issue here of why you're scared to let go of this relationship. You're scared you won't have enough. And then this card came out as well. So finances and career, financial issues are a factor right now in your love life. Which, like I was just saying, um, you're scared you won't have enough to provide for your family. But it's all going to work out. Um, you're being called to extend your lighthearted energy to others. And that's going to bring in somebody new for you. Somebody that you deserve and that deserves you. Um, it's time to move past this tower moment that had such a huge impact on your life. It's time to heal from this heartbreak and, and move forward. Your bottom of the deck is soulmate. So you do have a soulmate coming in. For some of you, this is your soulmate. And you guys are in separation right now. And you are just getting over the heartache of being that third party. Um, for your wisdom cards. Or um, advice cards. This is Wisdom of the Hidden Realms. Uh, Oracle deck by Colette Barrett Reed. I just absolutely love her. All right, the Sun Dancers is your advice card. Joyful activity, celebration of life, and abundance. Um, so with this card, as your ally, the Sun Dancers... Oops, nope. Yeah, it was... I pulled it out of the deck in reverse. I apologize. Um, when it comes to you as a challenger, beware of losing yourself in your dreams of the future when the Sun Dancers come to challenge you. Their message is sweet and simple. Stop what you're doing and go have some fun. You're letting life weigh you down just a little too much. Celebrate what is and don't worry about what will be or what could be or what should have been or what was. Be here and now. Just be. Just for today. You will find your answers, but only after you've made time to play. Which was that you had that flirt card as well. Um... Tomorrow, after all, is another day. The sun will rise again to shed its warmth and light on all that needs clarity. You can count on it. So don't waste your moments of today that could be filled with joy by worrying about what tomorrow may bring. It'll get here soon enough. So, um, Taurus, I hope you guys enjoyed your reading. I hope you guys have a beautiful October, um, the beautiful month of, or the beautiful season of fall. Letting things purge, letting things die out that no longer serve you. Um, that is what you are being called to do at this time. Um, October, November, December is a real time for healing for you guys. Um, just enjoy your life. Enjoy every moment because um, you're going to have a lot of blessings coming in for those of you who are struggling right now with some sadness and depression. So um, it's going to be okay. So um, just have the faith. And as always, I send you love, light, and God bless.